Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Continuing with our series of Dead Dreams Must Leave. Our stop here is uh, the Shunammites. Second Kings chapter four. I take my text again from John chapter eleven, verse twenty-five. Jesus said, "I am the resurrection and the life." He who believes in me, he that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Hallelujah. Let us pray, Father, we thank you. As we continue on this journey and on this theme, Thank you for what you are birthing in us. Thank you for the truth you are underlining for us. Thank you for the miraculous that has been done in our lives in various areas. Glorify yourself, Lord. By your Holy Spirit, open our eyes, the eyes of the spiritual understanding to see beyond the natural. In Jesus' name, their dreams must leave. Second Kings chapter 4, reading from verse 8. Hallelujah. And it fell on a day that Elijah passed to Shunem, where was a great woman. And she constrained him to eat bread. So it was that as often as he passed by, he turned in needed to eat bread. And he said unto her husband, Behold now, I perceive that this is a holy man of God which passeth by us continually. Let us make a little chamber, I pray, on the wall, and let us set for him there a bed and a table and a stool and a candlestick, and it shall be that it shall be when he cometh to us that he shall turn in thither. This is a woman who is very generous. Benevolent. Who prevailed? Yes, sought the approval of her husband to provide for a man of God. She requested that they give me a room, a table, a bed, a stool, candle. So that whenever I passed by, I would stop there, lodge there, have something to eat, have a place to stay. How kind. Her husband agreed. And the man of God dwelt in the house. They cooked for him. And look what happened later. 
Elijah wondered, what can I do? Can I repay this woman? Consulted with his his assistant. What Gehazi? What shall we give to this woman? Oh, her generosity, her openness, her liberality. And uh, Gehazi answered verily, she has no child and her husband is old. In other words, uh, things look bleak in some quarters in this house. They have no child. She is barren. She has a need. That's by the seed that she's sowing. She has a need. So let her seed meet her need. And so the prophet said to this woman about this time, about this season, according to the time of life thou shalt embrace a son. And she said, Nay, my Lord, thou man of God, do not lie unto thine handmaiden. No, I don't deceive me. However, the woman conceived and bare a son at that season that Elijah had said unto her, according to the time of life. Hallelujah. The man of God pronounced the word. Although she did not receive it well, it came to pass. He raised her hope. The deed, the deed. And the child came into being. About that time, the following year, she embraced a child. She gave birth to a child. Bouncing baby boy. Blessing from above. Now see what happened later on. Like the story of the widow of Zarephath. Yes. Who had provided for Elijah. And who was sustained miraculously. By the Lord. And who later on. was faced with a predicament. Her son died. This is what is happening here. This woman who had been generous to the prophet had been given a word which had come to pass. She had a child despite her barrenness, despite the old age of her husband. They had a child, but now see what's happening. The child fell sick. And said to his father, my head, my head. And the child said, so one of the servants carried him to his mother. I don't know what's, hap what's happening here. <laughs> Carry him to his mother. <laughs> I can't handle this. This was a guy that wants to wash his hands off any problem in the house. Couch potato. 
Take him to his mother, he said. So they took him to his mother. He sat on her knees till noon and then died at verse 20. And she went up and laid him on the bed of the man of God and shut the door upon him and went out. Hallelujah. She arranged to go and see the man of God. Verse 22, and she called on her husband and said, Send me, I pray thee, one of the young men, one of the asses, and I may run to the man of God and come again. And he said, Wherefore will I go to him today? It is neither new moon nor Sabbath. And she said, It shall be well. Hallelujah. It shall be well. And so she ran after the man of God. And she found him. When the man of God saw her far off, he said to Gaza, his servant, Behold, yonder is that Shunammite. Run now, I pray thee, and meet her, and say unto her, Is it well with thee? Is it well with your husband? Is it well with your child? And she answered, It is well. Hallelujah. This phrase has become so popular. It is well. I remember the story of uh, a lawyer, Super Ford. A lawyer, very popular man of God who had three daughters think and he sent his wife on holidays to England with them he went on the ship and uh, calamity struck the ship sank Many people drowned, including his three daughters. Fortunately, his wife was saved. When she arrived in England, sent him a telegram. Yes. Safe. Alone. Safe, alone, that man was greeted with devastation. In spite of his status as a lawyer, successful lawyer, and a man of God, Calamity has struck. His children died in one fell soup in a devastation at sea. But his wife survived. And Ruth on his way to joining his wife, he went by sea again, went to that spot where the ship had drowned and God 
gave me song. And that song has resonated over the centuries. The song was entitled, It Is Well With My Soul. Yes. Can you write such a song? I miss such a calamity. I miss such a disaster. It is well that my soul it is well, it is well with my soul, with my soul, it is well, it is well. With my soul. Hallelujah. Yes, that man held on to God despite the devastation. And God restored him. He went on to have other children. Hallelujah. Yes. Getting back to this story. Elijah sent his servant ahead with his staff. But it was to no avail. Yes, he laid the staff upon the face of the child, but the child did not move. And the mother of the child said, As the Lord live it, and as I so live it, I will not leave thee. And the man of God arose and followed her. And Gehazi passed on before them and laid the staff upon the face of the child, but there was neither voice nor hearing. Verse 31. Wherefore he went again to meet him and told him the child is not awake. When Elijah was come into the house, behold, the child was dead and laid upon his bed. And he went in, therefore shut the door upon them twain, and prayed unto the Lord. Just a similar scenario to what happened to Elijah. Yeah. When, and he went up and lay upon the child, and put his mouth upon his mouth, and his eyes upon his eyes, and his hands upon his hands, and stretched himself upon the child. And uh, the flesh of the child waxed warm. And then he returned and walked upon the house to and fro, and went up and stretched himself upon him, and the child sneezed seven times. And the child opened his eyes. And he called the Isaiah and said, Call the Shunammites. So he called her. When she was come into the, unto him, he said, Take up thy son. Then he went in, fell at his feet, and bowed herself to the ground and took a son and went out. Glory to God. Yes. This is a woman who you 
Yes. A woman of faith. Who has been generous. And calamity has fallen. Yes. God rewarded her generosity with a child. The enemy wants to take that child through the back door. What a challenge. You may be going through a similar challenge. God has given you a miracle. The enemy wants to steal that miracle through the back door. The enemy wants to make you a mockery, make you a song of fools, a song of drunkards. Do not let him say like this woman, it is well with my soul. Refuse to take no for an answer. Hold on to God. Hallelujah. We can see that even the prophet was challenged. His staff did not walk. Even his presence was challenged. He had to stretch himself on that child twice. Yes. Some of you will consider that a child of use. that you and I need to be led of the Spirit. If the Holy Spirit leads you, you will get the result, the desired result. As many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. That child came back to life as Elijah agonized, wrestled, went to and fro the room praying. Glory be to God. Their dreams shall leave in the name of Jesus. Because Jesus is the resurrection and the life. Because Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever. Because God said, I have the Lord, I change not. Because he said, is there anything too hard for me? Heaven will never pass away, but my word will not pass away. The just shall live by faith. I watch with my word to perform it. Hallelujah. So, child of God, and the son of my voice, Stand still and see the salvation of God, the deliverance of God. God will turn your table and He will hold your peace. That dead dream is coming back to life. That dead dream will speak and will not lie. At the appointed time, your vision, which may tarry at at a moment shall speak and not lie. It shall not delay a single day in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. was crucified. Yes, he died. But he rose again on the third day. Ascended on the Father, seated on the right hand, and there intercedes 
for me. You now pleads your case and pleads my case. So let us raise his praise today. Yes. Crucified. Yeah, yeah he died. Christ is risen, our God reigns, our God reigns. 